This is the Simplify Hedged Equity ETF, ticker symbol HEQT. In this video, we'll explain what HEQT is, how it works, and finally, how to use it in a portfolio. First, what is HEQT? HEQT invests in large cap US equities, but adds an options overlay with the goal of reducing volatility and reducing drawdowns. How does it work? We start by investing the fund's assets in large cap US equities. Then on top of that, we add what's called a costless put spread collar. Here's how the collar works. Step one is to buy a three month equity put option that's 5% out of the money. That means that once stocks are down 5% or more, the assets are in the protection zone. The fund is protected from further drops in stock prices. That's quite a lot of hedging, but it comes at a cost. The fund's goal is to fully finance the cost of those options. We do that by selling a couple of different options. That brings us to step two, where we sell three month, 20% out of the money put options. That means that for the three month life of the options, if stocks decline more than 20%, the fund once again participates on the downside. What we're left with is 15 percentage points of protection from minus 5% to minus 20%. We call this the protection zone. Unfortunately, the 20% out of the money option is quite a bit cheaper than the 5% out of the money option. So in order to complete the financing and make the options overlay truly costless, we have to sell something else. That's where step three comes in. We sell an out of the money call option. This completes the financing. However, if stock prices move higher above the strike price of the call option, then the fund no longer participates on the upside. Effectively, this places a cap on the fund's future returns. What is that cap? Well, that's going to vary with market conditions. Historically, the call option strike price is usually within the range of 4 to 6 percent out of the money. So expect that to be around the maximum gains you can expect from HEQT over a rolling three month time period. When you put the three options together, you're left with a strategy that has a lot of downside hedging, lower volatility than the underlying equities, but with a smaller potential upside. The costless put spread collar concept has been around for a long time with several funds running the strategy for nearly a decade. But what is the key challenge when running this strategy? One of the challenges of running the strategy is that the returns are highly path dependent. That's a fancy way of saying there's quite a bit of timing luck. Options like milk have an expiration date that adds an element of timing that's more critical to the results than it would be if you just own the underlying asset. Your results are highly dependent on the market conditions the day you implement the collar. A paper was published in January 2023 by Braun, Hofstein, Israeloff, and Dong that addresses this very topic. It addresses what it calls the hidden cost in the costless put spread collar strategy, which is rebalance timing lock. This chart shows the hypothetical returns of the costless collar strategy using the three possible timing combinations. DMJS, December, March, June, September, JAJO, January, April, July, October, and FMAN, February, May, August, November. As you can see, the identical strategy has quite a difference in returns depending on which months the options collar was rolled. From the paper, most striking is that JAJO outperforms FMAN over the sample period by 100 basis points annualized, while its annualized volatility is 80 basis points lower. Similarly, JAJO has a max drawdown 900 basis points lower than FMAN. That is a huge difference. HEQT's key innovation is that instead of a single three month put spread collar, HEQT seeks to minimize timing luck by diversifying the fund into three three month collars, each spread one month apart. 
Take a look at the fund's current holdings. You'll find this updated daily on the Simplify website. First, you'll see HEQT's large cap equity exposure, which it gets through owning IVV, which is another ETF. Why own another ETF instead of individual stocks? Given the extremely low cost of the leading large cap ETFs such as IVV, it's more cost effective to simply gain exposure through an ETF. Underneath IVV, you'll see nine options. You can see how they are grouped by date. The first group of options has an expiration date of February 17. The next three on March 17 and the final three on April 21. When the February 17 collar reaches expiration, it will be rolled into a new options collar with a May expiration date. Each collar covers roughly a third of the fund's assets. By implementing this strategy, much of the timing lock effects are neutralized. One question we didn't address is why use put options as a hedging vehicle in the first place? Hasn't hedging equities by owning fixed income worked well in the past? Well, fixed income often works as a hedge against equity drawdowns, but not always. If you want a pure hedge, you'll need to look at put options. Let's take a look at 2022, which was the worst year for the 60-40 portfolio since 1937. Both stocks and investment-grade U.S. bonds were down over 15%. In inflationary environments, hedging with fixed income clearly didn't work. This is why at Simplify, we believe in diversifying your diversifiers. Sure, owning fixed income is important, but if you're concerned about managing downside risk, options can be an important tool. So how do you use HEQT in a portfolio? The first use case is to simply substitute HEQT for your current large cap U.S. equity position. This will reduce the overall portfolio's volatility and drawdown risk making it a reasonable solution for investors concerned about large drawdowns. A retiree or near retiree is an obvious candidate for HEQT. Another use case for HEQT is to use it tactically. A bearish investor might switch out of their current equities into HEQT if they view the risk of a large drawdown to be elevated. This reduces the risk of being totally out of the stock market should their risk-off call go against them. Now let's do some Q&A. Are the hedges in HEQT better suited for hedging against a rapid tail risk event or a protracted bear market? HEQT gives you a hedge in either scenario. In a tail risk event, such as we had in March 2020, when stocks declined over 30% in a four-week period, the 15 percentage points of protection would have kicked in. In a more protracted bear market, like in 2022, the options would have dramatically reduced the drawdown in stocks as well. Is there a scenario where the put options do not protect against bear market drawdowns? Theoretically, yes. Suppose you had a super slow, super long bear market where stocks were down 1% every month for three straight years. In that scenario, the options would never enter the protection zone and would not add value. This scenario is extremely unlikely. Is HEQT more of a core holding or should it be considered an equity hedge? HEQT is a core holding. Although it contains hedges, on its own, it is not a hedge against equity declines. That is, if stocks are down, HEQT will be down as well, although not quite as much. Does HEQT pay dividends? Unlike some hedge products that do not own the underlying equities and are purely constructed of options, HEQT owns the actual underlying equities. So yes, if the underlying equities are paying dividends, then they'll be passed along to shareholders. What are the tax implications of owning HEQT? If there is a gain on the sale of an options position, it will be considered given Section 1256 treatment, which means that 60% of the gain is taxed at the long-term capital gains rate and 40% of the gain is taxed at the short-term capital gains rate. How much discretion do you have in managing HEQT? Very little. 
HEQT is run via a rules-based formula. Management will not deviate from the formula regardless of personal views on the direction of the stock market. Thanks for watching this video on HEQT. If you want to find out more about HEQT or any other Simplify fund, please go to simplifyetfs.us. We'd love to talk to you directly, so to set up an appointment, email info at simplify.us or call us at 646-585-0476 and we'll get back to you promptly.